Hello, welcome to a very Explosion Network Christmas app podcast dedicated to the merriest of holidays, the festive season with films about Santa Snow and being left home alone. The time of year where we all come together and argue if Ghosts of Girlfriends Past is a Christmas movie. I'm your host, Ashley Hobley, and helping me grow my heart three sizes of Christmas cheer is Dylan Blight. Uh, th- is that the Matthew McConaughey one? Yes. Yes, it is. It is? Yeah. Sure, why, why not? Isn't it Saturday Christmas? No. It's not? No. I don't I'd think like so. To strike, <laughs> I'd like to strike that from the record if I'm misspoken. And, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I used it because it is based on A Christmas Carol. Yes. But it's What's not. the connection there? That's it. <laughs> the connection is today we watched Spirited, the latest Apple TV Plus movie, uh, which is a modern retelling of uh, A Christmas Carol, starring Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds. Yep. Uh, we're going to go full spoilers, so just so you know, please be aware we'll be discussing anything and everything about plot themes in any given movie, so if you've watched it, come back later. Like I said, it's on Apple TV+, Plus or playing in limited theaters around the world, I'm guessing. Was that? Is it? I, it said it was playing in some cinemas, so in America. Okay. I don't know if it anywhere else. <laughs> With that said, let's jump to discussion of Spirited. On a bitter, cold Christmas Eve... One dark soul is selected for redemption by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and yet to come. A tradition that continues to this very night. Like a Christmas carol? Yes, yes. If you would just let me get this out, sit. So out of all the people on the planet, murderers, people who do gender reveal parties, I'm the guy you're going to haunt. You know what? Forget it. I told you, the guy is a level 20 pain in the dickens. Come on, I can take this guy. I'm your ghost of Christmas present. La 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 la, I'm not watching your dramatic re encrapment Hey, I'm haunting you. You can't just run away from me when I'm haunting you. Hello? We're bringing back Christmas. I believe he can be a positive force for mankind. And he's got his hands all over everything. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Maude, are you texting HR? No. Yeah. Originally released November 11th, 2022, directed by Sean Anders, written by Sean Anders and John Morris, based on A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, starring Will Ferrell, Ryan Reynolds, Octavia Spencer, Sunita Marnie, Patrick Page, Marlo Barkley, and Tracy Morgan. Each Christmas Eve, the ghost of Christmas presents selects one dark soul to be reformed by a visit from three spirits. But this season, he picked the wrong Scrooge. Clint Briggs turns the tables on his ghostly host until present finds himself re-examining his own past, present, and future. Dylan, is Spirited on the naughty or the nice list? Ah, uh, Spirited is on the naughty list. <laughs> for sure. Is this the first naughty movie? Yes. Yes, the other two are avoided. Yep. Um, <clears throat> better keep a ranking or something somewhere. To, yeah. Considering we just, this podcast expanded from... But it's been from, four movies, so... <laughs> yeah, but it also expanded from, let's just do it and talk about the Santa Claus to, let's talk about Santa Clauses and also, like, old Christmas movies. Um, the... <laughs> and now we've got, like, a ranking system, because everything has to have a ranking system. Of course it does. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I didn't like it at all. Like, I, 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 well, hold on. No, I liked the, the setup, I guess, the, the premise of, like, the, you know, the off, like, after they, they open the movie where they save, um, Rose Byrne or whatever yep. from her thing, and then they come into the office and, you know, like, they sort of do the setup where it's, you know, they pick people and do it or whatever. Like, I, I like the setup, but then as soon as they start singing, I was like, and it's not that I hate musicals. So that's not a thing where it could be like, well, you just hate musicals. So I'm like, I don't know, I hate musicals. I'm just like, why is this movie a musical? Um, why is a movie starring Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds a musical? I don't, I, I don't know why, like... It's Christmas. I, <laughs> that's not a good reason. Um, Die Hard's a Christmas movie and there's no singing in that. Uh, there's... But, like, it's just I guess just the question, why not? Because... I just, I don't feel like it helped it. I feel like even with without that, it's like an okay, like it's a good premise. And then it would have been, I feel like this movie would have been way better with less singing and more funny things built around the somewhat interesting premise. And that would have been a much better movie. But now it's like interesting premise, completely slowed down by n- not good music, 
by mediocre songs uh, for no reason other than like someone sitting around going, we should make it a musical. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Fucking Will Ferrell and <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Will Ferrell playing Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds playing Ryan Reynolds. Like it's just them being them, which is what they do. But now they're singing. And I'm like, okay. And Octavia Spencer. Fucking what? <laughs> I can't. I, I I thought it was it was absolutely boring. Not full of charm. I don't know why, in what world you'd get me to watch this again. I had to watch it in two setting, sittings because I started watching it last night and I was like, I am so over this movie. And then I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to bed. And I wake up this morning and watch the last hour. Um, and by watched, I mean, I was definitely on my phone at the same time. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I, I have nothing. I, I, I thought this was terrible. There you go. There's my ranking. Not wow. terrible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think this just ekes on the nice list. I don't think it's that bad. Um, <sighs> it, yeah, I think the premise is really interesting, and I like uh, like the basic setup of of the world of these ghosts, and like it's the thing that they've been doing constantly. It hasn't just been Ebenezer Scrooge all those years ago. Um, something that they try to do each year, but really, the it, there was a bunch of uh, elements of it that aren't explained terribly greatly. You know, uh, why just on Christmas? Why, why just one? Yeah, and then uh, I would have been interested to see more of the magic of it. Like, how do they set up? How what? How, how much research are they actually putting in? Give me that information. Well, they just show get you right super nerdy end. about it. They show you at the end where they're actually doing some research and they have this whole like graph bar. He's like, oh, you can see that this woman was in love, but it was like the only time. Then they're like credits. Yeah. <laughs> um. I think it gets super muddy towards the middle and then, like, kind of when uh, Clint is, like, uh, trying to turn him back into being a shitty dude. And if, he does raise a very good question. How do you know if you were a nice person if you only lived another three weeks? How do we know if he if Clint actually changed if he died, like, one second later? Like, he does one really good act and he suddenly changed? I don't know about that. That's just personal belief, though, maybe. So... Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the songs. It was enjoyable enough. I mean, it's a basic Christmas movie. I don't think it's, it's definitely it's not something I'll be watching every single year, but you know, I would, here's my question. Is a Christmas Carol really a Christmas movie, a Christmas story? Yeah. Why? Because it was, it was written as a Christmas story about like being a better person than whatever else and but be, but but be, is being be, a better person inherently no, Christmas a Christmas theme? Is theme? fucking baby Jesus being born in a barn. Like it depends what you and your sp- specific beliefs are for what is a Christmas thing. It's like either Christmas falls into two categories. It's a Jesus Nazareth barn or ho 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 Mary be be a good person. Presents, children, lollies, you know, mm. and then sometimes they cross in between. <laughs> Um, and then they form. You became motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Christmas stories. Christmas Carol's kind of weird. It's like, all right, this story could have taken place any time of the year, really. Yeah, but that's a lot of Christmas movies. There's a lot of Christmas movies that like they just set at Christmas. Uh, Jingle and- all the way definitely could not take place at another time of the year. Yeah, it could Black Friday, birthday. It's the kid's birthday. He needs the toy. Yeah, but the toy wouldn't be sold out because it's not every single person's birthday. His birthday is on January 1st. Yeah, but he wouldn't have Sinbad's dad also competing for the the same toy. Sinbad's well, Sinbad. kids. kids. <laughs> his, his, toy, his, 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 his son's birthday is January 5th. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, I enjoyed when they actually went dark. Like, the elements. Like him with his sister and like that's a messed up situation uh in the hospital and like, i understand why he wouldn't want to live re- relive that but he doesn't really deal with it you know it's like oh i see my sister once i die again i'm like oh cool you didn't rectify the fact that you abandoned you pretty much pawned off your sister's daughter mm. <laughs> or do you have bro- little half dim wit brother <laughs> yeah <laughs> That whole family thing is weird. The messed up thing with the mum and the dog. Mm. 
That's the one, one way to open. Uh, and then, you know, the whole... Uh, Thursday, what a concept. Yep. Uh, and then you've got the whole concept of him uh, online bullying a kid who goes on to commit suicide. Yep. That's pretty dark. But he doesn't because they changed it. Does he, though? Did he change it? Well, no, or Octavia did he bu- did. or did Ghost influence Octavia Spencer so much that she influenced it? Yeah, she's the one who changed, really. Not him. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. Really? There's a, she's the one who actually changed in becoming a better person in this movie. He just dies and starts doing his job in the spirited world. Yeah, so he can get back to so he can bank up all those summers, all those mm. spirited seasons, so he can come back to life. Yeah. It's it's, it's yeah. I don't know. Some people have enjoyed it, so I don't you know. I enjoyed the Christmas. I, I like this. I enjoyed the subplot of him working with this Christmas tree, like organic Christmas tree company, uh, and uh, like undermining like plastic trees. You know, I'm on board with that. Plastic trees are super convenient though, and reusable. So I don't. But I like the idea of him. Well, I don't know. Like, I, I, where would I if, if they took plastic trees away? I'm like, what? The, I, I, no one around me grows these real trees. No, we'd have no trees here in Australia. Yeah, in America, I understand it's a tradition and a thing, but I don't, like a little bit different, you know? Yeah. All right, let us know what you think of Spirited by going to explosion.com slash Twitter or jump to our Discord at explosion.com slash Discord. Uh, if you want to help us out here at a very Explosion Network Christmas, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser. Uh, tell people about the show, leave us five stars, and you can leave five stars. And if you really like this episode, thoughts with Rolla, head on over to our coach page at explosion.com slash support. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time, remember, good afternoon. Good afternoon! <laughs> <laughs> that was the only good song. <laughs>